Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. How's it hanging? What's up? What are you all doing here? Uh, wait a minute. There's nobody here. What am I talking about? I can't say what are you all doing here when there's nobody here yet. But I'm sure we'll get at least one or two folks swinging by. We're going to have a little fun. Maybe do a little bit of comment review, but also talk about the markets a little bit, the uh, uh, current events with the all the stuff going on, crazy uh, stuff in Europe. Corn is here. Hello, Corn. Hey, Corn. You should see uh, the the news is out about uh, Crown Collector. Corn, you you missed my live stream the other day. I exposed Crown Collector for the racist that he is. Yes, indeed. The truth is out. Well, not that most people shouldn't be too surprised, but anyways. But nonetheless, yes, indeed. So let's see here. We're gonna look at look a little comment review here. Ah, uh, let's see and see what's going on in people's minds with the comments. Oh, yes, indeed. Silver Hunt is here. Oh, shh, we won't tell his boss. 925 is here, and Amy Smith is here. Hello, hello. And Chuck and Plata is here. All right. Very cool. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Indeed. Okay, we're going to do a – we don't have a whole lot of comments to go through here, so we might uh, – we might see – we might – have a little fun and see if anybody wants to join in. And by the way, Corn, if you want to swing in here, you're more than welcome to. I'll post a link here in, in a little bit if you're still around. Um, we're just going to run through a couple of comments. We might do a little, a little live hangout. You know what I mean? A little live hangout with you guys and interact and intervene. Well, not intervene, just interact. How's, how's that? So let's share the screen and get the comments going here. I just posted a video about the European situation, and I actually got an email from Silver Fortune, who is going to be doing a discussion on this topic after I'm done here on his channel. He's doing a, he does a live stream on uh, Tuesdays uh, around about, about the time I'm done with my live streams. In fact, I'm going to email him before I forget here. I'm going to try something. I've got all these things going on. Let me shoot him an email. Uh, let's see here. Hold on a minute here. Let me do sometimes if I don't, if I forget, if I don't do something and I forget, then I will not remember. So I better do this now while I have a chance. Um, cool. Just posted a video about it earlier and am live now shouting your uh live stream out where you will be this this discussing this topic op op ick and very cool and that lets him know that i know that he knows that i know that he knows very good all right now we're back all right very good Ah, uh, oh, corn is at the car dealership buying my wife a new car just bought her a new one in february son of a Wow, two new cars in one year. Wow. Is it a Honda? Is it a, I need a new car too, man. That's awesome. What kind of car are you getting her? I think you should get her uh, a Honda. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With a new car. Whoa, you have to buy your wife a new car two to three times a year. You know how much gold you could give her for that? Wow. Hey, Gage Smith is here with a 99 cents. Um, um, Super chat. Thank you, Gage Smith. Wow. And I think this is the first time I may have seen you, Gage Smith. And you're starting out with a super chat. Very nice. Very cool. A Honda Accord. All right. Let's see here. And Silver Wolverine is here, too. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right. So here we are. Um, I'm presenting. So let's do this comment review thing and uh, get this out of the way. Then we're going to see. If we can get a couple of you folks in here, we'll have a fun. We'll talk about all the good stuff of the day. Um, yes. All right. Uh, where is everybody? I usually I'm so late that the hard 40 is already in the house. We're here early. So that's awesome. Yukon X Denali, 82,000. Wow. Man. Wow, corn. Shoot. Hop on my way, my friend. I could use a new Honda Civic. It will cost about... Uh, a quarter of that amount. Yeah. I'm just teasing you. Uh, let's see. Happy Memorial Day, Brother Sal, says the Jackie Bear. 
on the Memorial Day tribute video I did. Patriots for Trump says, I'm not able to post in your live chat. I would like to share an important bit of wisdom for, for an SHTF situation. Local community support will be essential to the survival of all. There's going to be that one thing in your prep stash that broke, wore out, or you just don't have enough of it. Best to have people you know and trust nearby. Good and excellent point for sure. Community is really what it's all about. And uh, and so, yes, indeed, Patriots for Trump, uh, you're exactly right about that. And not even just for an SHTF scenario, but for, for most anything. I mean, look at this community for sure. I mean, look at Corn's wife. I mean, Corn's wife is high maintenance, and uh, you know, it's, it takes a community effort to support Corn because he's got he's got to dole out a lot of money to keep her happy there. No, I'm just teasing you, Corn. No, that that that's cool, and uh, I hope she appreciates it for sure. And uh, yes, indeed, very good. Make America great again. And so here's the new hashtag, by the way. So here's the hashtag for the um, 2016 uh, campaign. And this is going to be the hashtag for the 2020 campa campaign. Uh, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Tag. Just another tag in the wheel. And you know what that stands for, don't you? See if you know what that stands for. Fossil Metal says... I'd say perhaps when you can, can't can store it and you can't pay for it. That's right. That's you know, when you know you got too much silver. Very good. Patriots for Trump says, I'm able to post in the live chat. Okay, he talks in about that. Okay, thank you. Uh, so that's a – we read it here live. Patriots for Trump. So thank you. All right. Coin Collecting Fund says, like number 53, my friend. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to you too, Coin Collecting Fund. Yes, indeed. Hello, Terry Rabidou and Health Babe is here. Hello to you, Health Babe. Yep, keep America great. That's right, 925. That's the uh, the apparent slogan for 2020 re-election. And speaking of 925, he says, Happy Memorial Day. Sorry I missed the live stream. Well, you're here tonight. So we're good to have you here indeed. Health Babe is here too. Roseanne Barr. Yeah, her remarks were unfortunate today. And, you know, as, as cultured as she is, um, you would think uh, that she would have known that 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 kind of comment would have been stirred a bunch of a bunch of stuff because you know the just the whole uh, the whole connection you know with the whole Planet of the Apes thing you know but she shouldn't have made that comment I was disappointed in her <clears throat> I wish she wouldn't have done that just like I wish I I would a crown collector wouldn't have made the comment about Shadow Stack. A racist comment, <clears throat> but shadows. But Crown Collectors doesn't have a television show or anything like that. He just has a few channels to do that. So hey, Tomoko's Enterprise. Yes, Tuesdays with Sal. Never like to miss it. Very good to see you. We're glad you're here, Dean, for sure. Sylvester says, if you have too much silver, turn your house into a, a Faraday cage. Harness lightning. I'll have enough when my piggy bank cracks. There you go. Exactly. By the way, I apologize. I'm out of coffee. I'm out of coffee. Max Rodiger says, I guess you're not a Star Trek fan. Probably didn't get the rule of acquisition part. I missed the live stream visiting my family. I subscribed today, though. Great channel. Sal, thank you. Yeah, I think I must have missed that. I mean, I've seen some some Star Trek, but um, I don't think I'm familiar with I'm not as a Trekkie deep enough to know what the rule of acquisition is. Eli says, happy Memorial Day and the brave that gave the ultimate sacrifice. Amen. I think we can all agree on that for sure. Whoa, Rocky 315W has come out of the woodwork and he says, sometimes the ego outlives the man. Well, Rocky, let me tell you something. If you are here, he does join live streams. Uh, or a live hangout. So if he comes in by some chance into this, I will send him a link. Link. We'd love to get an update from Rocky, a good guy in the community, for sure. He's been missing for a while, and I'm just glad to, it made my day to see his comment here. This is awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, Health Babe was asked today if I if I can fit a silver kilo coin into a ten ounce capsule today by SD by an SD rep. Oh, you were asked that by an SD rep. Hmm, interesting. Ah, I don't know. 
Yeah, good question. Uh, Terry says, so nice of you to do this video. Thank you, Sal. Have a nice day on the Memorial Day video. Yes, thank you. All right. Hey, hey it's Mason says, OMG, can I have just one? Please, just one. How about seven? He thinks everybody that watches this video, which, when I say it very, very clearly um, in there, thanks for watching, by the way, Mason. I say it very clearly in this 100 ounces, of it, almost 100 ounces. I wish I had 100 ounces. That's not my goal. Silver Hair Stacker is here. Yeah, we need, we need, uh, we need um, Rocky around, man. Yep, Rocky is alive. And he uh, had commented, and I'd love to see him pop in here. But Silver Hair Stacker, good to see you. Um, let's see here. Silver Wolverine's favorite TV show of all time is Sanford and Son and All in the Family. Them shows were never canceled. They said much worse. Yeah, that's true. And, and I mean, we're in a political correct age, unfortunately. Um, and uh, she's a comedian, first and foremost. And people say crazy things. And, and you know, the thing is, is, some racial humor is okay, but I do think it was a little bit overboard with what she she, she said. But you're right, um, and that was the '70s. You know what I mean? But but I do agree. People get too worked up over it, you know. <clears throat> but anyways, Bugs Bunny says to win a coin toss every time. When you flip the coin and it lands in your hand, you're going to rub your thumb across the coin. And if you feel the coin, you find the obverse or head side of the coin is smoother than the reverse or tail side. And this worked for every coin because whatever country you're in, they're pretty much the, uh, sure you can find one of the coins where the reverse side is rougher and the obverse is smoother. Yeah, that's true. That's generally the rule. Um, or, you know, if you can memorize the surfaces for, you know, that particular coin that has a common obverse, then yeah, you're going to see that kind of thing for sure. Hello, Barbara Carbone. Good to see you. Dylan McCanley says, holy poopy, you have more than one contract. If they are big contracts, I'm impressed. 10,000 ounces. Actually, a contract of silver is 5,000 ounces. A small contract is um, is is 1,000 ounces. I mean, it's, yeah, it's 1,000 ounces, I believe. And I think there's three different levels, 500,000 and 5,000, I believe. I could be wrong. Um. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think she completely thought that one through, Barbara. Um, with her, with with what she said about it, because you know, I mean, and, and it's too bad because she also made other comments about Chelsea Clinton being married to a George Soros nephew, which she's not, and then correcting herself and saying that she was married to the nephew of a of a of a senator, which she's not either. So, I mean, it's it's unfortunate. I, you know, it's, but if it were me, I would have thought that through. It's crazy. Anyways, DOC Silver Stacker says, great message. Don't say happy Memorial Day. Say thank you. That's right. That's what we should be saying. With that being said, thank you for all you, for all who have served. God bless you all. Great video, Sal. Well, thank you, DOC Silver Stacker. And yes, amen. Thanks to all who have served because, no matter what, if when you join the military, you are sacrificing something, you know, your time, even if you come out with a rewarding career and the like, I just uh, I have a great deal of respect for everyone who's joined the military, no matter what their views are, by the way. I don't care if you're, um, no matter what, I mean, as much as I um, uh, dislike Chris Dwayne's views, Chris Dwayne did serve in the military, he served in the, in the Marines. I'm uh, saddened by where his views have turned, pretty much anti-American, but I do honor him for his service to the country. Uh, NG Engineer says, I just hope they stay low and my social security disability kicks in so I have some fiat to save silver in. Yeah, there you go. I hope so too. Gold and silver. I wish this thing would give me the full title so I know what the title of the video is. Um, when you have too much silver, he says, no such thing. The value will never go to zero. Exactly right. Due to intrinsic scarcity, beauty, and usefulness. If you have too much silver, that just means in hard times, you can provide for more for your family, friends, and neighbors. So that's true. Um, very good. Well, thank you for your point. Thank you for your comment there. Appreciate it. Um, 
and uh, very good. All right, let's see here. And let's see here. Car one singing. I turned gray blue when I had too much silver. I heard the cure was to drink mercury, but now I have this funny nervous tick. Yeah, there you go. Wow, it's pretty crazy. All right, you don't. You clearly don't have enough silver unless you have a fortitude round. Well, there you go. That's right, Car one singing. And by the way. Two days left to get the fortitude round for those who are interested. Only two days left to get the fortitude round, except for Hi Ho Silver because he already won one. <laughs> Very good. Italian G. Okay, so here's more stuff on the Roseanne Barr situation. Um, yeah, well, she did disrespect the national anthem a few years ago as well. And uh, I think we all need to do service as they do overseas, says Tomoko's Enterprise. Um, but yeah, it was bad. Yeah, she meant to act like a ball player, but did it too quickly after the song ended. So hello, hi ho, good to see you, my friend. Dixie Silver Miner is here saying hello to Dean, two fellow pourers in the community. Nice. Young Thunder Armory says, you know you have too much silver when you stop buying it and start selling it. Well, that's true. That's exactly right. And Gantanier says the old school Libertad is very nice and how to stack silver on and whatever I said that whatever that title is. Well, thank you very much for checking out that earlier video. Um, Nagan Yuk with a big number beside us says beautiful collection there. Thanks for all the reminders. Better to have too much silver in your suitcase than too much fiat in the bank. With bail-ins coming and hyperinflation being a sure thing. Nothing beats gold in your hands, although I don't think it's going to be a sure thing um, uh, as far as the bail ends. But I guess there's a possibility. you got to be prepared for it. And Smith & Wesson, that's right. Exactly. Not forget. Let's not forget Smith & Wesson. Keep packing. Thank you, uh, LAGN. I appreciate that. Currency Collector says, in the year 2000, Canadian, Canadian banks told every one you had to bring a thousand dollar bill into the bank redeem it as legal currency they say they were destroyed this is on the canadian bank uh video i did i think he posted this comment already i think he did all right anyway same comment all right mateo man is here hello hello to you and all the members of the salvation nation indeed yes good to see you uh Yes, Barbara Carbone hasn't commented in videos in a while. It just seems my mind has been too busy to think. I'll get back to you. Yeah, no worries, Barbara. I appreciate you being here. Nick is here. Is corn still here? Corn was up here earlier. Was it corn? Old corn still here. I'm going to see if we can get him in here. When I cut, when I put out the link to invite you guys, we're going to do a little, little, little hangout here in a minute. Because we're almost done with these comments. We'll just have some fun. Well, if it ever overruns where you live, well, I have a problem with too much stuff. I got a few old computers. Now, after I, I junked like 10 in the recycle area, I took some of the old computers apart first, removed data, and, and removed hard drives. If the machines did not boot and start up, some parts like a CD or DVD drives or video cards and some memory chips. So I sent what was left to recycle scrapyard from computer boards. When the stuff hinders living space. Yeah, there you go. All right, very good. Uh, oh, Grim Fandango is here. That's a cool, your your profile colored picture there really gets the attention of everybody. Hello, Tobias99, good to see you. And Chef Capone Jr. is here. Silver Magpie is here. Yes, I do have Britannias. Um, and I've actually done some unboxings and some Britannias. If you search my uh, channel videos, Grim, for Britannias, you'll see my unboxings of some of them. But thank you for axing and for asking. All right, let's see. Many Hoon Stacker says, Mr. President, I know I have enough when I'm running out of stashing locations. Exactly right. Many Hoon, good guy. Cool channel. He pours as well. Well said, my president. Well, thank you. I'm happy Memorial Day. Tricky guy. Those who stand and wait also serve. To just be there and ready is heroic. That's right. Willing to go into battle for my sake, I bow, I salute. I will try and be a good citizen to be worthy of your service. Excellent comment, for sure. Um, oh, wow. Silver Wolverine, so you're on an iPhone now. Um, and it's having issues with Google Hangout. It doesn't surprise me. They try to separate themselves um, from uh, the Google stuff. So that doesn't surprise me. If you can get to a computer... We'd love, to, I'd be honored to have you on, Silver Wolverine. Oh, Texman, how do I play for a Sal Salvation Nation passport? Well, 
and just subscribe to the channel. And I think you are, so you've got one. Uh, old, old computers are worth their weight. Check out eBay prices. Very good. Greg, Craig is here. Gilchrist, you never have enough silver. Good evening, Salvation Nation and Sal. Good evening to you, sir. Team Terrell, happy Memorial Day. Awesome live stream. Huge thumbs up. Well, thank you, Team Terrell. And you also subscribe to her channel. She has a great voice and just as a funny, happy person. And um, and uh, she recently took a trip to New York City and blogged it. And it was just so cool to uh, watch. And she went down to the 9-11 Memorial. And uh, and um, it was just it was a touching moment in her in her vlog. And that was really cool to see. It, it, she really appreciates the, um, you know, the gravity of what happened that day. Uh, so that really took much. Great channel, great person, Team Terrell. Goldfather says, the design is growing on me on the Eastern Caribbean stuff. I really like the Pelican. Uh, it is no longer on the Atmex website. The hassle with these coins is a blister pack. Yeah, I know. But they don't like what they did with the security. Very good. Well, thank you, Goldfather. He also says on the... Um, on the swan, the big swan deal thing that happened today, only MCM has a one ounce gold of paradise for $10 below spot and free shipping. Whoa. The one ounce gold bird of paradise. I love MCM. They're my favorite dealer. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. That is pretty crazy. Um, on their site, or yeah, I'm curious now. Hold on a second, guys. I've got to see this here. Um, let's see here. I'm looking at another tab here because I, I want to. Uh, I'm going to see if this is true. Australian gold coins. Other gold Australian coins. Uh, as low as twelve eighty one eighty. Yeah, if you buy a bunch of them, yeah. If you buy a buttload of those things, if you buy over five of them with a wire or check, they're twelve eighty one. But you got to buy five of them. Still, that's pretty cool. I, yeah, it's, they're making those in gold too. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not showing this page yet. I, I didn't have this page showed. Uh, sorry. Anyways, back to this. Julian Bullion. I might show it here after a bit here. Yeah, hang loose, guys. We're going to do a, a live. We're going to do a hangout. I'll, I'll send you the link here in a minute. Hello, Mark B. want to say thanks to all served our country and sacrificed for their time to keep us safe. Yes, amen. Amen. Thanks, Mark B. Great video. I can't believe people still fall for this. Thanks for sharing. I do know what that one's about. That, and you're right, Julian Bullion. That's about multi-level marketing in gen, in, with the precious metals community. It was a, there was a program called um, ISN, International Silver Network. And just like all of these places like Amway that did this multi-level marketing, they changed their names and repackaged themselves. Now it's something called something else. I even forget what it is. All right, I'm going to curry up here for, for Nick. Try, we might even call a scammer when I get one of you guys in here. Italian G says dollar index up another 65 cents and now 94.84. Probably flight to safety. Going to have to ride this out, says Italian G, on the gold not affected by European uh, situations there. I just posted that video today. A lot of people are in deep sleep. We'll take a while for them to wake up. If it's too late, they can't complain. They're warned. That's right, James Miller. Greetings, says Mark B. That was loud. Wow, scared the bejesus out of me. What was loud? I'm up. I'm up now. The whole video was loud or the music? Ooh, the Jackie Bear's got us a number to call. Now I do trust Jackie Bear, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope. To, I might ask for that number again here in a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna go live here in just a moment. Well, I mean, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna call. We're gonna get some people in here. Silver Magpie says, interesting topic as always. Sal would love to purchase some gold, but it's way out of my price range at the moment. I understand. Yes, I'll be Silver Magpie. Uh, for some time to come, I'm afraid. Hey, no worries. You're getting some silver. That's good. Save up, get a tenth ounce of gold. Uh, you're all golden to me, Silver Magpie. So it's all very good. All right. Um, Donald New Mexico says, Hi, Sal. The Russians are buying gold. Yes, they sure are. And Russia's 
uh, that country spans two continents. Terry Rabidou says, going to wait a while on gold, thinking prices may go down a bit during the summer. Thanks for the video. Well, thank you and have a nice day. And I think, were you in here earlier, Terry? No, she was not. I hope Terry will come in here. All right, let's see here. Very good. Silver Magpie is here. Uh, tricky guy. I just posted a video about Italy. Uh, but there's some economic, uh, I mean, not yet yeah, political turmoil there about the prime minister. Terry is here. Very good. So let's, let's see if we can refresh, see if there's any other comments coming in. Okay. we got a couple more. Let's take a couple more here. Kevin McLaughlin says I'm broke, have some things. I need my money more urgently, urgently. And I understand. And that's good for you, Kevin. I, you know, you got to, you got to make priorities, and your your priorities are right for sure for some uh, for urgent needs. Jet Shack says first media will be forced to report this financial reality. Then after a while, people will begin to pay attention to financial reality. And not too long after that, people start to believe financial reality. Then at that time, PMs will start to rise. You know, that's a good point. There's a lot of psychology in this for sure. Tricky guy says wrong, wrong, wrong. Gold is not affected by anything except the a combo of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. In other words, um, uh, uh, what is that? Agu regal, regal, whatever that stuff is, and that dissolves gold. All right, corn is here. Corn is back. Very good. All right, very good. Um, nine two five. I have metal detected a time or two, not very often, but that's also be found a placer nugget. All right. <clears throat> so much going on in Europe. Would take hours to tell. One thing is for sure, the euro is is too strong for some southern countries, and this is because that countries like Spain, Italy, and Greece suffer since years. This is only a partial aspect, since there's several causes to buy gold in Europe. Yeah, I think that's definitely a good point that needs to be mentioned. And thank you for doing that. Michael Sorrell says need to slow up on silver, three hundred twenty five monthly, and buy gold again. I just can't seem to dial the number. I understand. Yes, thank you very much, Michael. I want to know why gold is almost 350 higher than platinum and palladium. They showed not too long ago they were 1,200 to 1,300 themselves. I think I'm going to buy some platinum, and I'm going to, and I'm doubtly going to buy one of them salivate metal rounds with the top cat. And I like the other round the third. Buy one of each, or at least one. Well, thanks, Sal. Well, thank you, Billy. Um, you only have two days to get the fortitude as it is now, but if you can't. Uh, don't get a chance. No worries. Um, but it's all good. But thanks. All right. Let's see here. All right. Almost done here, guys. Honestly, all predictions I've heard for three plus years is gold to the moon. Doesn't seem to be. Always do opposite from what you hear a lot of. That's a good point. Don't believe everything you hear. You're right, Brandon. Good point. Gold is probably going to go up a bit. I think, it, I think at least it will by the end of the year, gold stacks. But thank you, gold stacks. All right. Let's see here. All right. All right. So we've done that. We're done with this. We're going to do this. We're going to copy this. We're going to paste it in here. Anybody, corn, anybody, silver hair stacker. There's a link to join if you guys want. And we're going to call a, we're going to call somebody. We're going to call a scammer. I've got one here. Julian Bullion is here. Hey, thank you, my friend. Appreciate you coming in. So there's the link for if you guys want to join the live hangout. I'm going to orient um, a way here to be able to make a call that has the potential to crash my system. I hope it doesn't. And uh, let's call and see what happens. Um, And then we'll call the Jackie Bears guy. Let's see if we can do it. We got, uh, let's see here. I got a text message with this number, so it may not work. Trump care for health insurance. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure if this is. If you would like to be removed from this list, 
please press 9. If you are looking for affordable health insurance, please press 1. Oh. If you'd like to be placed on the do not... I am looking for affordable health insurance. All circuits are currently busy. Son please of try a... Again later. Son of a... No! Can't be. I can't believe it. I have to type it out again? Let's see. Uh... Five nine nine eight five nine nine. Okay. Now y'all should be able to hear. Y'all should be able to hear that. I think. If you would like to be removed, call him, Sal. Call him. I'm calling him. And for some reason, you're in here, and it's. And for some reason, it's muted the volume. When, when you, but that's all right. Let me. We're gonna try again here. Let's see here. Okay. But well, good to see you, Silver Hair Stacker. Howdy. How you doing, my friend? I am better than good. Hey, you, 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 you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout because I'm telling you why. Because you got to watch in front of you. So I had to do a little pun there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, corn, corn. You want to come in here, corn? There's the links above. If you want me to post it again? I will, but I got to copy it. If you scroll up here, you can see it. It's right up here. You're welcome to swing in if you if you have that ability. Uh, let's see here. Let me uh, let me call this. Who who are they? Let me see. It. I think this is an uh, IRS scammer. I believe is what the Jackie Bears got it for us here. Uh, we'll find out. Let's call it and see what happens. These people call the Jackie Bear today. Okay, let's see what happens. Duluth, Georgia. Ringing. Can you all hear that? I heard it. Yes, hello. Can you speak up a little bit? It's kind of hard to hear you. Um, I got this call from this number of, for uh, IRS. Do I owe money or what's going on? I'm I'm confused. What? Well, that's weird. It put me on hold here. Yeah, that's a snappy number, isn't it? There, silver hair. I'm telling you. Let me call him back. It's a snappy little number. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm missing some of what you're you're saying here on the side because I'm. I was calling here. Okay, Alex. First time here. Thanks for being here, my friend. We're calling a scammer. Are you? Yes, ma'am. I was calling. Uh, I got a, a call from this number. What's uh, what do do I? What's going on? You already spoke with one of my agents, right? Uh, yeah, they, yes, they left a message for me. They said I owed some money. You son of a! Why do they hang up on me? I was I was baiting them. <laughs> I was baiting them. I was giving them something to, to Duluth, Georgia. Here we go. Yeah, the IRS, Barbara. Hello? Well, you this is really teeing me off now. They're answering. I'm gonna see if this is make sure. I am help you. Yes, is Barbara Carbone there? And what and what can I do? Well, I don't know, dude. I want to talk to a legitimate IRS agent. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Let me talk to the lady of the bunker real quick. Put the lady of the bunker on. Why? Because she knows how to pour some awesome gold. Is there any lady in your home? Uh, no. They're they're in the bunker. In Phoenix. Oh, I want to talk to your wife. That's what she said. Uh, how do you, he hung up on me? Let me you know that I you know this may be the. <laughs> This may be. Uh, let me let me try. Let me see. Let me try something else here. 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna get through to one of these guys one time here. We're gonna this is this is too 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 good. All right, let's see here. All right, Sal, you need to call some uh, like uh, healthcare providers. I did. I tried that before, and 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 uh, it didn't uh, it didn't pan out. They wouldn't. They weren't. I think the number is out of service because I got one of those texts today. All right, let's try it again. Come on, answer the phone, you freaking freaks. Okay, I got to pretend I owe taxes. Yes, hello, I owe some taxes. Shoot. I think it's my application here. Let me try to do this again. <laughs> yeah, tell him I got too much silver. There you go. Hello. Yes, hello. Is this Barbara? Barbara yeah. Carbone. Sorry. Yes, I I owe some taxes. Man, what is up with these people? I'm going to try to call them from two different applications here. We'll have them talk to each other. This'll be fun. <laughs> oh, corn just gave a DNA sample. Do tell. Charlie. Hello? Yes? Hello? There's someone on the other line. I can tell it. Say something. I owe I owe money. And what's going to happen here? We had this happen before, so over here we'd call these people, and then uh, they would uh, we call them so much that they end up taking it offline. Yeah, recently had that happen with some insurance guys. Oh yeah. And I'm going to try. Hi. Yes, ma'am. I, I apparently I owe some money to the IRS. Can you help me? How much do you owe? Um, I think about five thousand two hundred twenty-four dollars. They said on the on the voicemail. What? Five thousand dollars. Over five thousand dollars. Man, why do they hang up? I'm I'm Barbara. I'm taking your advice. <laughs> I'm letting them know. I'm, I'm baiting them in. I'm trying my best here. I need to call Ironwood Finance, Iron Maiden Finance again. Let me try to call this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try. To... I'll ask the scammer, the RS scammer, for the number for Iron Maiden Finance. Hello. What's up, homie? If you hang up on me, I'm going to call your boss. You better not hang up on me. You Marta Chode, you, you, you Chichia. <laughs> Are you a Benichode? Curry up and answer. I'm trying to stay quiet, but I can't. Hey, Silver Hair Stacker is trying to stay quiet over there. Now help him out. <laughs> Dude, say something. You got to speak. My name is Mud. Hey, 2000, 2000's here from Tehran, Iran. You want to say anything to him? You scammer? Hello? IRS? It's still connected. We're going to call him back. Hello, 2000, 2000. We're Stock calling scammers. in the side. What is that? Stock is jockeys in the side chat. Yes, yeah, stock jockeys here. Oh, yes. We've already yes, yeah, Chode. These scammers do stink, so you gotta you just gotta keep calling them. You gotta waste their time. This is I love it. See, this is Crown Collector. Uh, stock. Stock jockey back with you. He would tell us to enjoy our Hello? Oh, still ringing. Okay. Okay.
we have another number. We might have better luck with um, Gary Bailey from Credibility. Um, if I want to speak to customer support, I'll call this number. So let me try that. That was a good one, though, Jackie Bear. Yeah, we'll keep hammering. We're going to try a different uh, – we'll try this loan organization. I tend to get these calls from these uh, – Jackie Bear, if you're still here, we might get that number back from you. We'll try them later, but we're going to try this. Craig Bailey or whatever his name is. Gary Bailey. He's with um, Credibility. Thank you for calling Credibly, the online lender that believes every business deserves the right to capital. Oh, no, sure. It's currently closed, but what? we can still get your deal funded within hours of approval. Okay. Please leave a message. And an associate will promptly return your call. Hello, Gary is not available right now. To get a call back, press one or just hold to leave a voicemail. After the call, leave a message. Press pound when you're done. Gary, do you live in Indiana by any chance? Um, if not, well, I'm leaving you a message about the loan because I'd like to get one. I was hoping you, you would be calling me back promptly, but since you're closed, my guess is that's not going to happen. That's probably a better chance of Silver Hair Stacker, um, uh, you know, um, selling all of his silver and gold than, uh, than you calling me back, right? Is that right, Silver Hair? Would that be an accurate? Uh, that's pretty close to accurate accurization. Yeah, accurization. They're exactly right. That's right. Well, very good. All right. Well, um, so I'm going to let you go now, Gary, because uh, Silver uh, because Silver Hairstacker is going to clean this pool out, and he's going to invite me yeah. over for a swim this summer in hot Texas. Let's go. All right. It's ready. It's ready right now. It's ready right now. All right. All right. See you later, Gary. Take a squeezy. Don't be sleazy. If you have a cold, it's okay to sneezy. Bye. All right. <laughs> I was telling bye to the scammer, you guys, not you guys. Indiana uh, Silver Stacker lives in Indiana. So Indiana Silver Stacker got my joke about Gary, Indiana. All right. Let's try one more. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. That's where Michael Jackson was born, I think. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious as, as a serious person. Uh, let's try Vanessa again. Vanessa supposedly gave me her cell phone number. Ooh. And uh, she said, call me, contact me at any time. So here's Vanessa's number. All right, Vanessa. You got to answer. 94 in Green Lake, Wisconsin now. Crazy. It was, it was cooler that than the coast or, or where you were at. And, um, when you were where you were on vacation. Why is my mind drawing a blank now? Let's see here. Groovy, groovy. Oh, nope, not answering. She doesn't recognize the number, I guess, or who knows what Vanessa's got. Spartan Capital is where she's from. We don't have much. Well, we could call one of the guys we called to before. We could call Robert again. Let's try Marcus Dickus, Dickerson. Dick. <laughs> Marcus, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <kinda, laughs> that's his name. I'm serious. Marcus. Dick okay. Okay. I'm name. sorry. I'm sorry. Answers don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. calling San Diego. Marcus. From Progressive Business Funding. We're calling. <laughs> Progressive Dickerson. Yeah. Okay. One, two, one is unavailable. Please leave your Oh, no. Progressive Dickerson is unavailable. Marcus, we're a little upset, Mr. Dickerson. We were hoping to dicker a little bit with you, but uh, we'll talk about the loan later because I am interested for sure. I'm, I'm as serious as a serious person. And I mean that with uh, pretty much uh, no um, 
uh, by the bottom of my kidneys. All right. So we'll, t- we'll just dickering around here. Yeah, we're just dickering around here. So appreciate it, Marcus. Take a squeezy. We'll talk to you later. I'm still on my caffeine high. And uh, so we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right. Let's see here. We're striking out here. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Colonic Stacker is here. All right. And Mateo, man. Uh, says hello to you, Silver Hair Stacker. Hello, Kale- K- what is it? Kalonic Kale- Stacker, but also Mateo. I cannot say his name. Mateo Man. God. Every and time I Kalonic see Stacker, Stacker I, I think of the exam I had by my proctologist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Colonoscopy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would be it. Yeah. Um, this is more entertaining than a video where Jason at four has a psychic telling us where the price of Litecoin is going to go. Yeah, that's right. Stock <laughs> we aims to please here. Let's see if we can call Amp Finance. There's another loan scammer. These loan scammers are the ones that bug me the most. So that's why I tend to call them. So they're out of Coconut Grove, Florida. So I imagine we probably won't get this guy either. But if not, we'll we'll, we'll try to call back uh, the the uh, the the IRS scammer again for Barbara. So if Jackie Bear's still here, uh, that number may have... Whoa. Hello? Dang. Dang it. So you got to sign up for some health insurance. Yeah, we'll try that number back. Daniel. 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 Are you there, Daniel? Oh, no, this is a voicemail. Never mind. I thought I heard you talk. Anyways, I'll try to call you back, Daniel. We're going to call some IRS scammers now. We'll we'll call you loan scammers later. See ya. All right. <laughs> Breaking news. The news is broken. There you go, tricky guy. Okay, let's uh okay, let's try to call the IRS again. All right, this is fun. I right, I'm gonna try to really be sweet talk him into staying on the line this time. I'm gonna try to be serious here for a moment. Hello? Dang it. I think that's the problem with their their voice over IP. Their phone systems aren't very good. So it hangs up. So I think that's what's going on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Sal, I got to go meet a Facebook customer. Okay. Thank you. I will here. be back in about... 20 minutes okay if i'm still here but thank you very much my friend okay sorry i gotta go oh no worries no worries we'll, we'll uh we'll keep calling them this dialing for dollar we're dialing for dollars right now so we're here <laughs> all right you have a good one we'll talk to you later good luck with your customer oh, thank you for calling iowa so good to help you. uh yes sir i understand that i owe some money to the irs I understand that I owe some money to the IRS, so I'm calling back. How do I pay? Uh, go fuck yourself. That's what she said. Do I go to do I go to, to uh, the coin club to pay you back? You don't need to pay. Go fuck yourself. I think you're a martyr chode and a benichode all wrapped up in one, Chuchia. Boy, boy, these IRS people. I, I mean, I thought they were legitimate. Here I was going to... And tell him, you know, hey, I'm willing to pay. And he tells me to do this and do that and the other. Maybe Garfield. He- Hello? Yes, this is where you speak. Say something, you scammer. Dang it. I'm going to call him back again. Okay. This is what you do. This is, it's just it's dialing, for, dialing for scammers. Highest tax state in the world is Connecticut, says says Billy Gagney. That sucks. I didn't realize. I thought California was the highest tax state, but 
I'm getting in the bottom of the scammer bear when they start cussing right, right at the very off offset of this. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm at the ver Come on. Come on, scammers. Take the baits. Yes. Man. Either they're hanging up or it's a bad voice over IP. We just got to keep doing this. For Garfield Heights Coin Club. Oh, yeah. We don't want to make 2000, 2000 laugh. Oh, man. I think they took their number off. We'll see. Let's try it again. Yep. I think... Well, Jackie Bear, that was a good one, but I think they're finally on to us, and now they've removed the number. Try one more time here. Yep, unavailable. They've removed it. Let me try it from another application here. If we can't get it here, then we will give up on that one. But hey, that's good, though. That means it's less. That means they won't be able to scam somebody else from that number. They'll have to figure out a new new way to do it. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. We'll try this. I'm trying to think of another way here. Let's see here. Irresponsible, reasonably stupidity. Yeah. Did they block? Yeah. And they, they may have blocked my number too, but I don't think so because I, I don't know that this is a static number that I call from either. So that's what I'm going to try. I'll find out if if I get the call from a different application and they answer. I'll now help you. Yes, sir. I'm calling. Apparently, I owe uh, back taxes. Can you help me? Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. Okay. Yes, I, 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 totally. apparently, I owe back taxes. Can you help me? This is a wonderful tune. Yeah. Uh, this? this is I, I was thought I was calling the IRS. Oh uh, yeah, those guys are scammers. You're not to transfer me over to another caller. You might not want to do any of that shit, man. Uh, oh, that's weird. That's crazy. Weird. Now, hold on a minute here. Why is this thing not? I'm not on a call. How is this happening now? Let me see here. All right. Well, apparently I was. Okay. All right. All right. Weird. Well, anyways, that was crazy. So that must have been a... Uh, that probably... Uh, was a, um, I don't know what that was. I'm trying to think if that was a spoofed number and I got through to a legitimate person. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get it one more time. See if we can get that same guy. The thing is, I hung up the call and it was still going on, which was very strange. Hello? Yes, is this the... I have a... Bad connection. Is this the IRS? Yeah, you, you have to the IRS. How uh, do I owe back taxes under my name? I have to put the file and take the details, okay? What'd you say? I have to take the details. Okay, check the details. I'll hold. Okay, do you want to just provide me a name and a zip code? Uh, yes, my name is uh, Sal. But you can call me Salavate for short, and it's two zero 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 five. Two zero 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 five. Yes. Okay, I just um, okay. I didn't get your name. How how do you spell it? S A L. It should be under Sal. Oh, Sal. Yeah. Okay, Sal. And uh, what's your last name, sir? Uh, my last name is Metal. That's M with a little M and E with a little uh, you know accent T A L. Okay. Okay, Michelle, right? Sound yes, my middle name is Benichode. Sorry? My middle name is Benichode. Benichode? Benichode? Yes. Okay. Just a moment, okay? Okay.
So that a colonic stack of that probably ended the call right there because I know that's a that's an Indian slur. When you have a big problem, better call Sal, says 2000, says, uh, says Tricky Guy. Hey, 2000, 2000 still here. Just a moment. Benichode, yeah, that's right. Or Martichode is another insult. Sir, are you there? Come back to us. Dead sil dead air is not good for broadcasting. You got you to gotta work with me a little bit here. I owe you a bunch of money. I'm a sucker for it. I'm about ready to fall. I'm about ready to give you my credit card number or Western Union or whatever it is. I'll go to the MoneyGram. Just come back to me. Just do one thing and come back here. Wolfie is at the gym. Tell everybody, tell the guy next to you on the uh, treadmill to take a listen to the live stream, Wolfie. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. He is at the bench press. I'm emotionless. Man, that dude just put me on a hold. All right, we know we'll wait for him on hold. We're going to try to call back on the other one here. We'll, so we might have two scammers back on the line. Send him cash. I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him silver and gold, Terry. Man, yeah. Apparently, this I need to call from. An, I have another way I can call. I got another way I can do this here. Let me see here. Pump iron and listen to metal. Exactly right. That's right, Wolfie. We're calling scammers now, by the way. Just FYI. Hello? Hello? Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's try this. I just called to pay my taxes now. Whoa. Crazy. That's loud. And it, and, it, and it drops. Well, that's just it. That's the way these VoIP voice over IPs are suck. I want to scam people. They got to have an application that actually works. All right. We want you to pick the line up. Hello? Hello? Is this the IRS? Yes, I understand I owe some taxes. Sir, this is where you speak. Dang it. I don't understand it. And I don't think he's hanging up on me. I really don't. I think I'm getting disconnected rather than discombobulated. Try it one more time here. A little VoIP, little VoIP action, guys. Here, little VoIP actions. Fake taxes. That's right. Trucker two twenty one two two two. We're calling some scammers here. All right, Tomoku's Enterprise. I don't think why well, we. I think we've about run out of luck with this. I'll try one more time from this. There's probably like four or five of these people. I don't know. There might be more. Mr. Scammer, send me a scam. And it just it just goes and, and hangs up. It doesn't even connect. Try one more time. And that one's a real quiet ring. Strange. Yes, I have an XP error on my computer. Can you help me? Sir? Do I owe taxes? Do I own Texas? My impotence, emotions. Hello? Try one more time. We'll get these people. Here we go. Ongoing call. Come on. <laughs> Hello, sir. I would like to say 
That's what I really would like to say. And also that I, you know what I'm saying? Sir, you scammer, Mr. Scammer, send me a dream. Send me something that I've never seen and I haven't landmined. Are you there? You Martichode, are you there, Martichode? Tell me about your mother, Martichode. He's still on the line. He's landmine. Did you know that landmine is taking your sight, taking your speech, and taking your hearing? <laughs> Nope. Hello, scammer. I think he's still on. Aha, uh -huh, you're still here. I know. Uh, he now he hung up. We're calling back again. Landline has taken my speech. Taken my speech. Taken my hearing. Landline. Hello, Tessa. We're just calling some scammers. Hand farts. Hello, scammer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The number's currently busy. My rear end. We're going to call you back. He's, hey, um, Jackie Bear, is, this is a gold mine. Thanks, Jackie Bear. The number is currently busy. Your mom is currently busy. We're calling you again. Sounds like a hockey game. That's right. Hey, the Caps are playing tonight, by the way, against Las Vegas. They eat cats. <laughs> Hello? Oh, man, I almost had somebody. I'm going to pull up my Sling Blade sound boards. All right. Boy, I wish they had a better system there. A more reliable voice over IP. The number is currently busy. Let me try it from this again. Let me call from here. Okay. Oh. The number is currently. That means they've taken it off when they do that. So that's it. We had fun with that one. Uh, I've never eaten. I have to admit to having eaten cat. Well, not the name, but close. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sal Seeker hates me. Whoa, why does he hate you? Tucker, all right. Sorry, guys, i am uh, missing some of your chat stuff. I'm, we're just here having a little fun. If anybody wants to join me, by the way, real quick, I'm going to probably be leaving here in a minute. Uh, but I'll put this out there if anybody wants to join in for a moment before we go. Let's see here. And... Don't have any other. I guess I could try this one number. Now, I don't know if this this might be a spoof number, so I'm taking a chance on this one, but it's okay to take a chance. Take a chance on me while I take a chance on you. With Mountain Dew, take a chance on you. New Joyzy, let's try this one here. Uh... This could be a legitimate person, so we're going to be nice at the beginning here. I'll just say I got a call from this number. Y you sure can, Chuck. Come on. Answer, answer. All right, let's try one more. Dan Brennan again. We know this one works, and he's from Shore Funding Solutions. And here's his cell phone number. We're going to call Dan. Calling Dan. Dan Brennan. His cell. He better answers his cell phone. Dan Brennan. We're calling Dan Brennan, Stacking Nerd. And it's a uh, cell phone, so it's not VoIP. So we should get a 
a human on the other line. We're hoping here. Come on, Dan. Hello, Hello Dan. Yes. Hello, Dan Brennan. How you doing? I'm calling uh, your your Reshore Funding Solution. Just calling you back about the loan to see what we can do here. I think it'd be fun. Sorry, I thought they helped you. I'm driving, so I'm having a little bit of difficulty hearing you. Oh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll speak closer to the mic. Already, uh, did you already send in um, uh, bank statements to me? Uh, no, not, not yet. I wanted to ask you about those bank statements here uh, and just get a little yeah. idea about shore funding solutions there. And, uh, yeah. you know, I was talking to Mark B. He only plays a four-string bass. I play a five string base, but that's okay. So I wanted to see about the process to get this loan going from Shore Funding Solutions. How many months of bank statements do I need? Well, technically you could get away with only three months, but I always ask for six months because that's what will get you in front of the top tier lenders right. to try to get right. you the best terms and the best rate. Very good. And that way we might also be able to get your line of credit. Nice. Well, yeah, because that's just it, because I'd like to get another five-string bass, because that low B is awesome. If I could tune it down to like C flat or like the, the next octave down uh, and get a really thick C gauge flat. string. C flat is a B. I know. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. And so, I mean, but like an octave lower than the normal, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and then that way we've got something going on there with it. No, actually, you know what? C flat is not a B. I don't, is it? No, I guess it, no, no, it's not. Well, I mean, you could call it a B because there is no black note between B and C. Is that correct? I think you're right. I'll have to look at a chart, but I think I think you're right. It's kind of like A sharp and B flat, right? Well, that's true too. A it's sharp is a B flat. Glass half empty, glass half full. What instrument do you play? <laughs> Uh, I studied classical piano for 16 years. I played trumpet, I played drums, and I played a string bass, not a bass guitar, a string bass. Like 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 a double bass. Correct, sir. And the only reason uh, was because I was the only one who could read, read the bass class, so they decided, okay, you're going to play the bass. I did not want to play the bass. Right. <laughs> hey, you know, that's how I got into bass, because they, they didn't... They they had enough guitar players, so it's like okay, you can play bass, but you know Les Claypool, uh -huh. Cl Cl Les Claypool, right? He plays. Actually, I do not, sir. He plays oh, stand-up yeah, bass, I mean, I or Flea, Flea. You know who Flea is, then, right? Flea. No, sir. I, He's I, from. I um, don't know that many um, popular musicians. I, I don't know how else to terminate to terminate to terminology. To, you know. I, I don't know that many of them. I really just yeah. Well, know what I learned. Here's a name to throw out. Here, he, he, here's a name to throw out there. You probably have heard this name, uh, and this is a famous quote from Matteo Man: "If you don't see sharp, you'll be flat." <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I, I, I well, like well, you ought to. If you get a chance, go to YouTube and search up Les Claypool. And Primus, as a bass player, you will appreciate his style. It's very cool. Even if you're a classically trained uh, musician on um, with piano and the stuff, it's just awesome. It's really cool. And uh, uh, and he doesn't I do the crab walk like Robert Trujillo either. Well, I might be classically trained, but I have to admit that I still, in my youth, loved heavy rock and roll. <laughs> awesome, man. That's where I'm at too. Like cattle decapitation, dying fetus, cannibal corpse. Testament, Slayer, all the good bands. I'm with you. Uh, I appreciate you saying that. Now, I, you know, I, I'm wondering if um, I did get, I remember getting a couple of messages, but I was never able to return the phone call because whenever I would return the call, the call would, would go to a, um, a, a number that uh, I was not able to leave a, a voicemail that's a John. Yeah, we. Your yeah, yeah, it's a VoIP thing. It's kind of a VoIP thing we got going on over here. You know how the network is, 
And so it'd be better for me to call you back. Um, and I know you're driving, so we'll, we'll definitely call you back on some of those. I'm just glad I was able to connect with you there. Are you, are you on, um, are you in Manhattan now? Are you on Long Island or are you, you're driving through? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Long Island. Okay, I'm cool. Phone. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just be safe over there. And if you go near the, uh, the, um, uh, the Hamptons, tell everybody over there. I said, hello. I know a lot of people that way. I do too, but I'm not near the Hamptons. Okay, all right. But I, I, I will definitely mention to anybody I know from the Hamptons that you said hello. Yes, and, and I'm Salavate, but you can call me Salavate for short. Oh, wait a minute. My name is Sal, but you can call me Salavate for short. Well, sounds good, Dan. Hey, I appreciate talking to you, my friend. Keep up the uh, the horns, you know. Stay up Iron Maiden. We're going to call Iron Maiden Finance next, I think. You know those guys over at Iron Maiden Finance? No, I, I prefer um, Johnny Cash. Oh, there you go. Jackson prefer, Folsom Prison Blues. I, I, I actually prefer Tom Petty. I like and, Tom Hanks. Um, He's pretty good. Tom Hanks, you ever heard of him? He's an awesome singer. I never heard of Tom Hanks, but Tom Petty is dead. May his soul rest in peace. I know. Tom Petty was awesome. He was a great musician for sure. Very good. All right, man. Yes, very good songwriter. Musician he was, but he was a great songwriter. Very good. All right. Well, very good. Well, well, my business partner, Silver Hair Stacker, is on the line with us now, too. Yep. And I was just getting ready to leave. We're talking to Dan Brennan from Shore Funding Solutions, Silver Hair. And all right. And Dan, let me tell you a little something about Silver Hair. He is a guy that is very acutely aware of time. I mean. So much that he's got a watch on his person at all, all times. And that's a nice watch, too, man. It's a pretty sweet piece he's Invicta, got. Invicta, baby. He could probably flip that thing and get a couple of a nice of uh, um, um, silver eagles for it, you know? I wouldn't know whether a silver eagle is worth a golden eagle or a golden earring. Yeah, Golden, Golden Earring, by the way. Golden Earring was a good band. Yeah, they were a pretty good band back in the day. Yes, sir. I, I hated the fact that they couldn't speak English, so they were never any vocals. Right, exactly. Anybody got a Dorito, baby? That's what I got out of that song. Anybody got a Dorito? Oh, hey, yeah. They don't. They don't have lyrics. Well, well, um, Dan, let me make you aware of one more thing. I've got to pump my own silver before I let you go. If you go and search on you on on uh, Google, uh, Fertitude Silver. Uh, salivate metal fortitude silver round. You can buy my silver round. It's got a little kitty cat on it, very soft and cuddly kitty, but you only have until Thursday to do it, okay? And the call was dropped. I've got your golden earring right here. Oh, that, look at that. You sure do look at that golden earring. That is awesome, man. That's awesome. Dan. 14K. So Dan had to let us go there. He He went through the tunnel, I think. <laughs> Did he took out. the blue pill that doofus he took the blue pill i think yeah oh dan he seems like a nice guy i don't know why he's operating under a scam operation like this some of these guys are surprisingly nice you know it's just weird yeah. oh my god i don't get it anybody got a dorito baby call beachwood Beach well that's not a phone number is beachwood a fine Finance company. I you got me. Let me try Ironwood. Let me try to think of, see if I can find the Ironwood people. My my browser's locking up here. Let me see if I can go down here and find. I will try to Katie Miller one more time. Uh, let's see, Hervé. Man, I got lots of gold earring. Yeah. Look at me go. Hold on a minute. I'm trying. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You got. You got it. The classic charming psychopath. Yeah. <clears throat> Benjamin Nitch. Yeah. Here we go. From Iron Maiden Finance. Iron Maiden Finance. It's actually Ironwood, but I call him Benjamin Nitch. This is this is a guy. This is okay. this guy. I called him one time. Not. Um, uh. It was on my own time. It wasn't while I was making video. And boy, he got pissed. And I like it. it was, I wish I would have recorded that call. In fact, I did try to record it, but it, uh, but it, um, it froze up on me. Let's see here. Okay. 
Come on, Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin here. Hello? Hello? Benjamin? Is this Benjamin from Iron Maiden Finance? Uh, no. Who is this? Um, this is Sal, but you can call me Salavate for short. I'm calling about the loan. I wanted to do some business with you today. Um, I will leave a message for Benjamin. Is there a number he can call you back? Oh, no, no. I, I'll talk to you. What's, what's your name, sir? It's okay. I have to go, but... Oh, it's okay. We can talk. We, I, You just leave Leave me on. I'd like to know what you're doing. Can you tell me what your social security number is before you go? Sir, let's call him back. I I didn't get a social security. <laughs> I, didn't get, I didn't get that social security number. We need to get that before we go here. I'd be remiss if I didn't get that. That would be terrible. It would be terrible. Oh man, we didn't get his mother's Iron Maiden name either. Radar Love. That's right. Go. Welcome to our voicemail system. You have reached the mailbox of 2002 at the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, press pound or simply hang up. Uh, yes, um, to whoever I was talking to, you didn't give me your name. Uh, but more importantly, I was looking for your social security number. So if you could get back with me ASAP, that means as soon as possible. Uh, with that, you can email it to me. That'd be great, you know, um, so we can have that. And maybe your mother's iron maiden name, too, while we have it. And uh, so, yeah, I, you know, most men go after chicks numbers, but I go after social, social security numbers because I figured if I can get your social security number, I will be very popular in social circles. That's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? So uh, let me try you again. Because uh, I just had talked to you. I know you had to go, but I'm going to try to call you back so I can get your social security number so that I can be really in the hip, you know. All right. Try him one more time here. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get a chance to ask him about silver or gold, silver hair. Well, not everybody has time for silver or gold. Right. It's all about time. So oh. Tell me. I'll, I'll, I'll make that. Maybe that'll be my first point when he answers the answers the call. Welcome to our voicemail system. All right. You have reached the mailbox of. All right, we've already called you. All, All right. right. Anybody else have any numbers before we go? I gotta be going here soon anyway. If time flies when you're having fun, you know what I'm saying? I'm having fun. Yeah. John C. Uh, for a quick and easy funding program. I'm looking for other cell phone numbers. Ah, here's the cell phone number. Okay, I'm going on the cell phone number. We are going to call John Cameron. Here we go, John Cameron. <laughs> Wolf is pumping iron. Pump it, I pump it up, pump it up, pump up the jam. Let's see here. He's a chief operations officer, COO of Like-Minded Business Solutions. Ah, John, pick up the phone, please. I don't like more than three rings, you know what I mean? I don't like more than three rings. Thank you for calling John with Like-Minded Business Solutions. Sorry, I'm unable to answer your call right now. Please leave me a brief message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. John, by brief, do you mean like under 45 minutes? I'm just curious because that's about how long it's going to take for me to get out what I need to get out to tell you about this loan I'm pretty interested in getting from you. So, if you could get back with me, have your machine call my machine. Let's do the lunch thing later and tell Bobby I said hello and him too. See ya. All right. Oh, Stacking Nerd has an IRS scam number. All right, let's try that one. 8675309. Yeah, we're not going to call Jenny today. We need you to film pumping silver. You got that body for it, right? I sure do. Pump it up. Pump up the jam. All right, so Stacking Nerd's got an IRS scan number for us. We'll give that a shot, and then we'll we'll call it a night. Let's see here. That would be awesome. 
Yeah, if we get a, a good, all right, here we go. All right, very good. Two, one, three, three, two, eight. Oops. All right, hold on. People still typing. I can't copy this while people are typing. Here we go. All right, great. Beachwood. Yeah, text man. That's not a phone number, dude. Four dash five seven eight nine number. No one even know what that is. But anyways, um, Marvelettes. Let's go. Marvelettes. No, if they knew taxation is theft, yeah, they won't get that joke. That's unfortunately. IRS. Here we go. I wish they would answer the phone. Looks like they're not there. Hello, pumpkin face. We're here wrapping up things for the last call to a scammer. Looks like they're uh, offline. Personal extension one seven zero zero is unavailable. All right. Well, uh, looks like they're not answering. So, but anyways, sounds like our work is done. Yeah, it sounds like our work is done here. We had a good time. Silver Hair, thanks for putting up with me here doing this. We had a good time. Well, thank you. I actually got to uh, make a sale today to my little Facebook customers. So That's awesome, thank man. Thank you for waiting for me to come back. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, thank you, Stacking Nerd. Very cool. And yes, that's right. Mark B says, he'll tell me, don't come around here no more. Well, that's right. Exactly. Well, thank you guys, all of you. It's been a fun, fun evening here we had. And I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, rest of the week. And we'll see you on the flip side. And uh, whether that be the obverse server or reverse, because I'm being rejected by scammers. And I need to go and, and get some counseling for that. But uh, y'all have a wonderful evening. And I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all. And remember, keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care, all. Bye.